Welcome to Das Geek. So as you guys know, I've recently migrated over into Ghost Distribution, which I absolutely love using GNOME. But there's one issue that I've run into, and that is mounting the iPhone. So the Android works perfectly that I have the HTC, but the iPhone does not create a file directory under files when I open it up. So let me show you here right now. My iPhone is connected and you can see there's nothing here for the iPhone itself. So I can't search and grab photos or videos or anything that I record on my phone. And at times I record videos for this. Now you can use Shotwell or any of those other tools and it can make a connection to the phone and you'll be able to download your work there. But in this case, I had a lot of videos that I've shot over time and this particular video I was looking for, I couldn't find it in the Shotwell import. And so I'm not sure if the iPhone put it in a different spot or whatnot, but I had to manually hunt for it. The file system and the way that the pictures are labeled within the phone versus how you view them in a file manager is just kind of a defect of how iPhone system is set up. But in either case, I was able to find a workaround and part of the Linux community, part of the beauty of the Linux community is there's always a workaround for anything. Now, if you know another workaround that's even easier for this, leave it in the comments below. I'd love to know it. And if you want to improve this bash script, my first bash script, leave the improvements in the comments below. But otherwise, this is something you could use if you find yourself in a similar situation. Hopefully this is my first time running it. So it's time to shed my newbie skin and start to become a little more of an advanced Linux user and write some of these scripts to do the things that I want instead of having to memorize these commands. So it's very simple to do and I created this baby steps PowerPoint <laughs> and I used baby like colors and everything because it's a very simple script. It's very easy. Uh, some of you who are more advanced in this are going to be like, really? But hey, it's my first one and I like it. So what this is, is basically there's a program out there called Fuse, which allows, it's a program written that allows communication with iPod and Apple devices in Linux. So first thing you need to do is go install Fuse. You can do that through your software repository, or you can do it through the terminal, either one. Uh, you're going to make a directory for the iPhone, and you can see that there in terminal, you're going to do Jedit iPhone. So you're going to basically make this script. You could use Vim or any other text editor that you want to make this. You're going to cut and paste this code down here, which I'll have for you in the summary of the video. So you can download that. And the only thing you're going to need to change is the path. So you can see the path for the fuser unmount command is for me, home das geek iPhone. Yours is probably going to be home whatever your username is in an iPhone. In the terminal, you're going to need to do the chmod755 to change the permissions to this iPhone command so that it will run. And then from this forward, all you're going to have to do is the period slash iPhone and you can mount and unmount your drive. So you can see we've got nothing here. Let's pull up our file manager. This thing is just messing with me today. Okay, pull up our file manager and let's go into our terminal. And I'm going to run the command. And you can see that it's using the DMESG command to look for any connected devices within my system, USB devices or external hard drives. And it's finding that, finding the Apple iPhone and it's showing that the last command is it's attached. If the last command shows it's detached, you probably need to plug your phone back in uh, so that it can get in there. So is my phone connected? Yes, it's attached. Glad to hear it, it gives you that command and boom, now you can see I can search through my iPhone, get to my videos and pictures or anything else that I want to look at. Now, if you don't see that and you've plugged and replugged your phone, you can kind of do an unmount command here as well. Or if I want to unmount it now that I'm done, I can just run that same command and choose no. You can see the iPhone disappears and it's basically running a fuser mount minus U at that directory unmounting that directly. So this has worked for me. It's worked beautifully. I hope it works for you. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about my first bash script out there. Is it blown your mind? Until next time, I hope this helps and get out there and fill your brains. Don't forget us, run.